Hey guys welcome back to new video. In this video, I am going to show you how to manually install Clover in the EFI system partition of a pre-existing install of UEFI Windows. In the process, you will also learn how to mount the EFI partition and add Clover as a UEFI boot option in Windows. My name is Param Singh you are watching Tech Desk Vlogs. So without wasting time let's move on to the video. Open an administrative command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar and right clicking on the search result as shown. Now type the following commands, followed by enter after each line. Type disk part to start the disk part command interpreter, at the command prompt. Now type list disk, displays all the disks on the computer. Now type select disk 0, where 0 is the disk number of the disk with UEFI windows. As you can see here as disk 0 is now the selected disk. Now type list partition, displays the partitions on the disk. Now type select partition 2, where 2 is the partition number of the EFI system partition. By default, it is usually the 100 megabytes second partition. As you can see here as partition 2 is now the selected partition. Now type the command assign letter X, at this point you can easily assign a new drive letter or mount point to the volume. As you can see here disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Now type list volume to list out all the volumes on the computer. You'll want to note the volume number. Once you've made that change, your drive should show up as a new drive, which is mapped to drive X. Here is the new drive, which is the mounted DFI system partition, with the drive letter X assigned to it. Open it and you will find the EFI folder already inside it, in which you will find two more folders, one is boot and second one is Microsoft. If in case you may get error, access is denied, in opening the mounted drive. You have second option here is to open Windows Task Manager as administrator. Click on the file tab to run new task. Click browse. And in the browse window, navigate to the EFI folder in the system partition, which is mapped to drive X. Open the EFI folder and, drag and drop, the Clover folder inside the EFI folder. Now close all of the windows. Minimize the command prompt. It's time to add Clover as a UEFI boot option using the Easy UEFI program. I had given the link in a description box to download this program. I'm opening Easy UEFI program which I had already installed in my system. Click on Manage EFI boot option. As you can see here the Clover entry on the main GUI of Easy UEFI is already there. I'm going to delete this entry and create a new Clover entry just to show you. If you don't create a new Clover entry here then the Windows Boot Manager will get priority on boot up. Click on the small icon with the plus sign, second from top, to add a new entry. Click to select the EFI system partition as the target. Choose Linux or other OS as the entry type. Type Clover in the description field. Now browse to the Clover x64.efi file as shown. Now click OK button to close create boot entry window. You will now see the new Clover entry on the main GUI of Easy UEFI. Click on the entry and then click the small, up arrow icon to move Clover to the top so it will get priority over the Windows Boot Manager on boot up. Close the Easy UEFI program. Now restart the system. Now you will see the Clover main menu GUI to boot Windows or Mac OS. 
That's it for this video and thanks for watching I hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to this channel for interesting tech videos, please hit the bell icon for notification of my new videos, also, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and comment it would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. You can also make request for new tutorials. See you soon.